Hi Ben, good to see you today. I um, just want to review what we discussed during today's session. So we'll just play the swings for you first of all. <coughs> So what we've been working on uh, with yourself over the last few weeks is to really change the path that you're swinging that golf club around. Also trying to create a little bit of width at the top of the golf swing and a, and a way to try and control your golf club on the downswing as well. So we've been getting you to take your club quite steeply and outside the line on the way up to get your hands much higher in the back swing. <coughs> And now we've been having a very pronounced loop back on the inside, allowing you to keep the golf club behind you, behind your hands on the way down, and then deliver that golf club from an inside path, and then down your target. Okay, so the practice swing you can see on the left hand side, doing that very well with that pronounced loop. Today what we tried to do was to neutralise that swing, so we wanted you to take the golf club a little bit more square back, um, on the way, uh, on doing your back swing, sorry, um, to still get your hands in a much better position at the top of the swing, but again having a smaller loop to keep your club on play and keep it behind your hands being delivered from the inside. So, the first few swings that we did, <coughs> we got the club coming back, <coughs> more on play, <coughs> excuse me, more on play, but what we couldn't um, get really was the slight loop inside, keeping the club behind you. You still occasionally got the club slightly outside the line coming across that golf ball. Um, so we give you a little drill to work on, which was to set the club before you start to swing in that sort of position, which creates your wrist angle before you start. Now what we're working on is keeping the left arm extended, maintaining the 90 degrees angle, and then just rotating your shoulders along the plane of your swing. So as we did that, that kept your arms on plane on the way back, certainly shorten your swing because you're having to rotate your shoulders more, and also maintaining the 90 degrees wrist angle, kept more control over your club. Then on the way back down, we're looking for that slight loop inside, and a slight drop of your arms to keep the club behind your hands. So there did that quite well. As we're coming into that golf ball there, just letting the club slightly there get in front of your hands. So if we're being a little bit picky, you can see there your club's just in front of your hands there. We prefer it a little bit more along the red line, so your hands are slightly behind there. Again, as a result of that, the club has continued along that path, slightly outside the line, coming across, and there. Uh, on that occasion, you just click the basket. Got a pretty good shot, however, uh, but just click the basket. One thing I would remember to do is to transfer your weight. We did notice that a few of your shots were a little bit thinner, a little bit heavy, but just as you look in the, in the comparison of the two swings, this right foot and the practice swing up on the tip toe, that right foot isn't. Okay. So just be aware that you're still transferring your weight during the swing, even when you're doing these drills, just to keep that strike much more consistent. So good luck with those drills. And if you've got any problems, just give us a call. But I look forward to seeing you again very soon.